Welcome, everybody, to Operation Overland. Uh, this is their first major trip in the ZJ 5.9. And buddy, your Mercedes sounds rough. Um, the Georgia Traverse Trail, guys. Uh, I don't have any cameras, so other than my phone. Um, I mean, I do have my my, my, my my tablet. It's got my GPS on it, though, my guy, which I don't have to have it 100% of the time. But um, I'm going to try and make a video uh, with my phone, and I, I can't do... I can't do any time-lapse videos. I wish I could. Oh, oh I do. I have my drone. Uh, so, we'll get a little bit, hopefully. Uh, coming and going. Try and make a good video. But we're doing the Georgia Traverse Trail. I will get as soon as I can. I should go ahead and post it up here at some point in this stretch of video. Uh, the intended route. And then I'm also, like I said, I'm on Gaia, so I will have the actual, my actual, uh, room. Look at that. Jamor Farmer. Farmer. So, there'll be lots of stuff. Uh, there'll be some river crossings or creek crossings, whatever you want to call them. Water crossings. Uh, miss some views. Uh, I'll be talking about my Jeep. I've got a stop in Clayton, Georgia. I used to live out this way. I'm gonna stop at a buddy's shop, which when I knew him, he, he you know, back when uh, I met him, he actually worked at O'Reilly's in Clayton. And from what I understand, he now has a shop. I gotta put my front drive shaft back in. The uh, I still hadn't reinstalled it since the lift kit installed. So, which is five and a half inch, Rusty's off-road, which is doing phenomenal, except the uh, sway bar links, the quick disconnects are, uh, Torx, Torx screws suck. Do something with that, guys, please. I will show you a picture of what I mean also in here somewhere so but stick with me guys I'm, I'm, I'm gonna I know I'm gonna do it so I'm gonna act like it's the end of the video just about every time I don't know why it's a habit I try not to because I know that this film is gonna be or this video is gonna be connected so if you haven't like and sub subscribe Questions, comments, concerns. We also accept criticism. Uh, so, like and subscribe, guys. Come on. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Probably sitting there because it's a Ford. <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding, Ford fans. Don't get mad. Alright guys, we're getting close here. About to get started. I got a maybe a quarter mile, half mile. I'm gonna turn left. I'm gonna start the Georgia Traverse Trail. Um, I'm gonna start in Dillard and head west. From my experience of what people tell me is from east to west. There you go is the best so that's what we're gonna do so tonight's the first night um sorry about my sexy beard uh, 
I'm going to probably pitch camp pretty early. It's, um, I'm not sure what time it is. I forgot. Probably about 3, 3 p.m. So hopefully, well, I intend to have, ten, have camp pitched by around 10. That way, that way I can get uh, get my rig a little more, a little better organized. Oh, look, look, look! Dirt road, guys. First dirt road. Let's go. Let's do this. We're gonna. Like I said, I I don't have. All I have is my phone and my my tablet, and I'm gonna try to do all the recording off my phone. I guess I could possibly edit while I'm just hanging around camp, attach videos, but it's still gonna be a little difficult because I don't intend to spend all my time editing while I'm relaxing. I'm sure all you guys can relate. Look at this cabin. That's sweet. Who wouldn't want to be there? I'd love to live there. I wonder if it's, maybe it's got a for rent sign. That would be sweet. That would be really sweet. Look, look at this view. Look at this view. Got a mountain right in front of it. A mountain off to the side. This is Sunhouse Studio. I don't know what that means, but <laughs> I'm jealous. So, we are going out here, and we have an obstruction. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, we're going to see if we can push it out of the way. Oh, you know what? Probably a bad idea. Cause I ain't got no heavy duty bumper. And I got lights down there. So that was dumb. Tried to push it with the Jeep. I don't know where the marks went. I rolled it. But yep. Damn it. Oh well. So I ain't got an axe or a saw, so I'm gonna try to go up over it guys this is why i bring tools now i thought that i had lost a piece but the you see the nut in there i've already put it back twisted it back together with a flat head to get it somewhat tight i'm gonna grab some pliers and straighten that a little bit more but i thought i lost my bracket this this piece is a separate piece uh, i thought i lost it back there where the tree was definitely investing in a bumper uh no no way around it uh, but like I said, this is why you carry tools on the trail. And boom, tools. I'm gonna stay here and fix it. And boom, fixed. Guys, I can't stress enough how important it is to be prepared for stuff like that. Um, if I wouldn't have, how, how do I say this? There's people out there that don't pay attention. Uh, especially something like that, like I did. That was completely ignorant. That was dumb as hell. I should have never attempted to push that with my plastic bumper. I mean, in all honesty, I've never had lights down there like that. So uh, I assumed it would be all right. And then I thought after the fact, there's lights down there, you idiot. Uh, the one thing I don't have, I wish I had, I should have brought, is a chain. Um, granted, I chopped the tree with a kukri. <laughs> I should have got a picture of it. Uh, it's right up at the top of the hill, over the hill there. Um, so, anyways, guys. I, 
just I fixed it. I got lucky. Uh, sometimes you're not that lucky. I usually carry heat shrink tubes just in case. That way the wires rip or you know I, I can't repair it on the trail. I need to I need to uh, do something with the wires so they're not live. Uh, now I could turn off the switch, uh, but some cases some people have them wired to say they're 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 uh, parking lamps. Um, I don't like to do that. I actually connected it to my factory fog light switch, and it, it's simpler that way. So, uh, anyways, let's hit the road. Also, uh, need to buy a new bow saw. May or may not have uh, not know where mine is. See it. So I guess we're going right. We're going to the right. Go guys, a little bit of oh guys, a little bit of water. Yay! So I'm out here riding. Uh, I'm on 32C Forestry Road in uh, North Georgia, up to the east. I'm sorry, west. Call it more west of Dillard. Okay. You see this, guys? Did you see it? See that? Do you see that? That is why these places get closed down. That is what makes all of us look like bad people. That is why we can't enjoy this. Come on, people. I mean, that's... Disappointing. Disappointing. Alright guys, got another crossing right here. This one's a little bigger, but still not really much. We have to clean off the tires. Uh, it was interesting. So I just passed up two possible campsites, which they, they were, they, were, they had potential. Uh, the first one, though, getting into it, uh, there was a bunch of um, uh, fallen trees blocking the, you know, the access to it to pull in. Uh, it was windy, and then the second one, it was decent, but it was still really windy. I'm on a windy side of this little mountain uh, mountain area. I don't know if you guys can see that. That's my my view. Oh. Go back. I don't know if I'm going too fast. Tell me if I'm going too fast. <laughs> Just kidding. So, um, I am going to keep going. I also noticed that I've only been 12.75 miles since I've started the traverse and moving time is uh, an hour and 28 minutes. Total time, two hours, which counts me stopping, which included, uh, I'm sorry, uh, uh, included chopping the tree with my kukri so that I can continue and fixing my fog light so oh look at this guys i don't know if you can see that but that's just oh that's amazing that's amazing oh i meant to get a picture too uh i cleaned up the trash
All right, so we're packing up. First night of camp. Got a, another jeeper here. It won't set the trail with me. Clay over there. Got his rooftop tent set up. Pretty nice. Stayed here last night. Slept in the jeep. It was comfortable. But uh, we're getting ready to hit the trail. He's gonna pack up, close down his tent. I'm gonna hit the road. Ula River uh, near Clayton, Georgia. I'm gonna show you guys this. I'm gonna go slower this time than I did with the other video. We can get down here. here go. All right. Well, Clay looks like he's about to take a nap. <laughs> All right, guys, so touch base a little more in depth while I'm driving here. Yesterday, on my way up from Clayton, which there, there was a picture, there will be a picture, or was a picture, or whatever. I actually took a picture of Clay's Jeep coming up 985. Now, Clay is from Georgia. I mean, sorry, it's above. Sorry. Clay is from Florida, Orlando area, whatever. And uh, he is going into the Navy. Thank you for your service, Clay. Thank you very much. Uh, you don't know how much it means to, to a lot of people here. So, anyways. Um, so I took a picture of Clay's Jeep as he passed me, headed north, and he turned west in Clayton to come up to the Persimmon Road area, the Tallulah River. I turned, or I went straight to Dillard and went up over the mountain and ended up meeting Clay at the campground that we stayed at last night. He invited me just to hang around and stuff last night, but I had in, intended to continue on get pictures and um, videos because I wanted a few more miles under my belt and um, la you know for last night but which is fine that I didn't because I have no itinerary like I have nowhere that I have to be don't have at any time that I have to be there so I, I hung out with Clay last night you know he has a, he has a pretty sweet setup uh, got that pop tent on the roof, which is pretty cool. Um, got an awning on the side. It's cool, too. And he didn't know that you could camp for free in National Forest. So he paid $15 and hung out. And, well, now he's trekking with me, and we're going to go on until we stop and, uh, you know, for the night and, and camp again. Hey, we got our first real river crossing here. So we're out here on the trail. I think uh, Clay's getting his first off-road experience. We just came up a hill. It was, I think he had to put his Jeep in four-wheel drive. Of course, he's got you know street tires on there. It looks like, but uh, I was in two-wheel drive. But I got some all terrains with some decent tread. So, but it's cool, man. It's this is a blast. This is what it's all about. You know, meeting people and just and just hanging out and. Even if you're by yourself, just just enjoying the land. I mean, look at this. Look how look it goes up. This is level, goes way up. And all 
Clay over there. I know he's enjoying his stuff. So, but what I'm going to try to do is when we get to town, I'm going to try and get a, a thing to. I better get that off of there. Copyright. Copyright laws. Oh, my bad. Anyways, uh, I'm going to try and get me a camera. Or a camera. Not a camera. A phone holder. Like a. That way I could put it up and maybe I can possibly. I don't know if my phone will let me do it. I'll have to look through it and uh, see if it'll let me do a time lapse of some of these trails. Uh, sorry, I ain't got none yet, but of course, to you, I think it's only probably been like, I don't know, seven, eight minute video. <laughs> it's been a day and a half for me. So, but uh, I'll get some time lapse and throw in. Hopefully, I'll get some time lapse and throw in. That would be nice. Uh, make the video a little more lively. Also got my drone. I'm gonna try and get some uh, some videos with it, you know, coming and going and, and following and stuff like that. If I if I can, it's it's really hard to do. Uh, more power to like Jake from uh, I am Jake. Uh, more power to him for all that he does. You know, when he's by himself for the for the uh, you know getting drone videos and getting all these cameras set up. Because this is it's a it's a job. Um, I haven't gotten any of me coming and going because like you know you have to go down the trail set up your camera you have to go back then you have to come back to your camera turn it around set it up for you going away go away come back get the camera and then go again so you're doing that whole trip you know two three times so but you know that that's cool though i mean I, i'm really going to try to do it but i really need a camera with a camera stand for it so but you know on the list all right, so here is the campsite that I intended. Oh, dang it, I did it. The campsite that I intended, sorry, to uh, stay at last night. It was free. But I met up Clay, he's cool as shit. Going in the Navy. You have my respect, buddy. You do, you have my respect. Yes. Next time. Gotta take it easy through here. I want a rock to kick you off the side. Damn, somebody break down? Are they hunting or doing something? All the way down. Looks like somebody already went over. because one of the roads were closed. The purple there, where the orange live. Uh, I can't remember the name of the road, but it was closed. So we had to take a detour. We're gonna go around and meet back up with the trail another way. Hey 
Here we go. We got a, what is this called? Tempo Tusk. Uh, it's called a Scottle. A Scottle. Oh, yeah. Seems a little overpriced to me because that looks like you could buy that part right there at Walmart for like 10 bucks. Okay. Matter of fact, I probably have three or four of those little stove eyes. And then it's got this cast iron piece that uh, legs screw down into. And that's the cooktop. Rice, beef, throw a little Cajun seasoning on there, and some hot sauce. What, what kind of hot sauce is that? Louisiana. Louisiana hot sauce. This shit's good. Thanks for lunch, Clay. No problem. I'm gonna hit the road back here after we get done eating and cleaning up. Um, one of the trails was the road was closed, so we couldn't go down it, so we had to detour around. We're back on it now. We've been on it for a little bit, but you know, it's, this part is the, is a page section, of course. You know, not all of it is uh, off road, so we're gonna eventually hit some more dirt. All right, everybody. We are on another section of uh, Forestry Road. Um, I believe it's Trey Mountain, which is a pretty hot, pretty well-known hot spot for jeepers and off-roaders, uh, trails, you know, etc. Um, we are going to continue. Well, another road closed. The road going up. You know, Trey Mountain, it's it, road closed. Well, that's okay. That's part of it, you know? I mean, the road's closed. Oh, well, we'll find another way. That's the best part about it. Alright, we made it to Cooper's Creek Wildlife Management Area. Check that out, y'all. Anyways, what I'm gonna do this time, instead of y'all looking at my ugly mug with my sexy beard, you know, is uh, give y'all a little bit of view of, you know, what's going on. Anyways, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go out here. We'll make it out to the uh, camp. We're at, really gonna want to do the free camping, but the place I want to go right now is a fishing hole and it's very convenient for this campsite that I like to stay at every now and then to be right across the road from that fishing hole so we're going to try and get there before well with enough light left hopefully that uh, we can pitch camp and I may be able to go catch a couple trout. Then we're gonna head to Walmart, uh, get a couple things. So uh, hopefully I can get a something to hold a camera for you guys. Somebody's been out here practicing their bushcraft. Hey everybody. Uh, About 20 minutes after five. I just want to show you a little bit here. Woke up. My bed. Uh, really gotta get my mattress. I mean, this actually ain't that bad though. The mattress would be way better. I found a mattress from um, Home Depot if they've got them. But, anyways. 20 minutes after five, Friday the 29th, day after Thanksgiving. Second night on the trail. I'm gonna get up this morning here. 
about an hour. I'm gonna go fishing. Hmm. Sorry about that. The trail's right across the road from camp. Trail. The trail's right next to camp that we're riding, that we're driving on. But right across the other side of the trail is a good fishing hole. Uh, so hopefully I'll be the first one over there this morning. Um, ripping some lips. We're sore lipping them. We got all kinds of slang for them. So we're gonna catch some trout so we can have some trout tonight for supper. We hoped to have it last night, but we didn't quite make it. Uh, it was right at dark when we got to camp. I went over there and pitched my line a few times, but I couldn't see my line. I didn't, I mean, trout's real sensitive, so. Um, we ended up coming over, setting up camp a little bit, and then we headed to uh, Walmart in Blairsville and got a couple things. We came back, went down the road. I guess I should have recorded it. It was pretty funny. Uh, we went down the road and got some firewood, got big pieces, and uh, used paracord to tie it to the back of the Jeep. I drug it. Oh, excuse me. I done drug it down the road. So... I had a decent fire last night. I got a picture, a couple pictures of it. So, anyways. Morning, everybody. I already woke up and up since so about five. Um, went fishing right, right over there. That's a creek. Already caught four trout. Uh, there's a big picture up. I don't have a video. I traded them off this camp. Trade them off for water. See, this camp is just set up. He's telling him I'll start putting his boots under his Jeep in case it rains and shit. I had a decent little fire going last night. Try to burn some of this bigger stuff, just keep it, keep it as a heat reflector is what it was, but it burned out a little. So, trash, king, seasoning. Hey everybody, we are at camp and we're getting ready to cook up fish. Um, it's kind of hard to get a whole lot of light going on anyways I'm I'm here see me <laughs> so got some lemon here got our fish that are clean yeah it's in a Walmart bag but we're gonna do the bowl put this lemon in this bowl we're gonna bring our aluminum in my pool over Put a fish on it, nice and flat like. Let's see if I can turn you guys to sleep a little more and better. Fish. There we go, boom. <laughs> and we're gonna take butter. I'm gonna put a little, little in the belly. Might be too much. It don't matter. Shh. I'm also gonna put old Mr. Lamon in there. Dang man. My friend, there we go. Never been open. Weird. Just an old bait. Sprinkle that on there. And 
some Cajun. Now, I don't do it on both sides, and the reason is, the butter, when it melts, goes around the fish, and then I'm flipping it, so the seasoning goes around. Well, let's pull this one over first. That'll hold the lemon inside the, the belly. Now, I wrapped it. I'm gonna wrap it twice. I'll roll it this time. I want none of that butter leaking out. One down, three to go. There it is cooked, everybody. Look at that, caught and cooked. All right, everybody, I'll get a second. So I just wanna say this is Friday night. Got one more night left. There you go, bed. So, hope y'all enjoyed that meal. I did. Clay says he did, so, whew, stuff was good. Should've cooked tighter a little bit longer, but it was good. Get that coffee, Clark. Like, I did that for a few minutes, get us some strong coffee. Haven't really recorded much today. I apologize. Can't really going to Walmart again. Um, just groceries, but I'm gonna start doing that stuff at home and prepping for meals. Like everything, like all prep, like cutting, cutting up tomatoes, cutting up the onions, etc., etc., etc. Getting it in Tupperware or plastic bags. Put the cooler. Look at that. It's empty. Oh, I'd live there. Oh, I'd definitely live there if they let me. Anyways, we're on the trail again. Uh, I bought a camera. It sucks. It's Kodak. It may be me. I'll play with it a little bit tonight. Maybe, we'll see. See what I can get. And we'll go from there. Hey everybody, last day is Sunday. Uh, we're riding over the mountain here in the Cahutta Wilderness. There was one, me, then there was two, Clay. Now there's three, Bailey. Let's see if I can get it in there. Hard to get an angle on the camera here, but yeah, there's three of us now. So we, uh, my last leg of the trip, I think that Clay and Bailey there, they're, uh, Bailey, he's uh, an army vet. Appreciate your service, Bailey. You're, uh, you're a damn fine stand-up guy. Um, we, uh, Bailey and Clay are going to stay the night, but I gotta head back to Atlanta, obviously. We got that thing called work. 
some guy named Bill keeps sending requests for money through the mail, you know. So, how many bills can you have? Uh, but, anyways, guys, we're gonna do this last little ride, and you know, it won't be long. I'll be doing the closeout. So, like and subscribe. Come on, man. You know, uh, comments, concerns, questions, even uh, we, we take criticism. So. second but this is the kind of stuff that we're seeing up here kind of, that's just phenomenal I mean you just can't get better than that that's awesome yeah that's that's wicked stuff right there so he knows the area and uh, they're going to camp tonight I'm not sure exactly what spot they intend to stay at so we uh, swapped the leader so done some leapfrogging oh cool man I'm enjoying it too bad it's my last day last night was my last night so we gotta head back to work Stop. We're gonna check that back tire on uh, Bailey's rig. See if uh, lug nuts are loose. It looks like it's wobbling. All right. So just ran into uh, another Jeeper. I I'll post the picture up. The name. I think he said John or Jonathan. I apologize. Uh, he can't remember what it's his Facebook name is under, but it's, his name's Jonathan. But uh, anyway, so I'm gonna tag him in these pictures, and uh, we got a pretty sweet rig too. So, man, I appreciate it, man. I, that was a, that was a nice ride. So. I hear, I don't know what the name of this spot is, but we're having some lunch. Clay's there cooking himself up some taters. We got some burgers coming on, Bailey cooked up. But this is what we're doing right here. Look at that. That's Clay right there. We really got much of it, much of him on here. Yeah, Ain't got Bailey yet either. So we're all hanging out right. I'm gonna head out. They're gonna stay for the night. They should uh, get some video clips and some pictures so I can put it in the video. So, figure out how that'll work. But this is their view. And this is Storm. It likes the smell of my burgers. So. One more thing, and a kind of post note, I meant to do this. I have went 220.8 miles right there and I will throw in a screenshot or a picture of the actual uh, track that I've done. All right, everybody, we are in Chatsworth, Georgia. We just came back down. I just came off of my last little track of dirt trail. Well, Clay here is going to be headed back up it for the night. He's going to head north. 
probably Gatlinburg Pigeon Forge over to Cherokee, hit some trails and stuff over that way. But uh, we're going to end the video. Um, like and subscribe. I will post and invite people for my next my next trail ride, my next decent trail ride. I know I'll be hitting up something next weekend, most likely. So, which next weekend is what, what's today's date? The first. It's first. Yeah. So the seventh, sixth, whatever it is, the sixth Friday, the sixth or something. So I know it's close to the holidays. Everybody's spend, spending time with families. Um, but we're gonna. I'm gonna. Hit up more trails and we meet more people like old Clay here. So they're out there, man. They're out there. We we met another one. His name's Bailey. He's in. He's not going to be in the video. So uh, or he was in the video or is going to be in the video. It's kind of both because I haven't made the video yet. But he's when the video is made, he's before this segment. So all right, like, subscribe, questions, comments, concerns. We even take criticism. Have a good one, y'all.